Hello guys, this is the Satconomist with another update for you. Today is um, Tuesday, the 20th of May, 2024. The Bitcoin price is just now 96,631 US dollars for one Bitcoin. Earlier today, I saw the price going up to 1700, $71,100 dollars for, for Bitcoin. So it just dropped since this morning. And uh, we're seeing an uptrend. Uh, block height right now is 800,044,457. Current hash rate is 500. 33 extra hash per second. And the last mining uh, revenue for the last block is, uh, let's see, oh no. The mining revenue in the past 24 hours is about 35 million, 36 million US dollars. So today I got you some information about what just happened in Venezuela. We see that some countries uh, like China and this time is Venezuela are trying to, let's say, discourage the usage and in this time it's mining of uh, of uh, Bitcoin. Very sad to see this, but we all know what's going to be the outcome. The outcome will be that in the end they will have to embrace it whether they like it or not. So the uh, Venezuelan National Power Ministry uh, announced a, a special operation to disconnect all Bitcoin mining farms from the grid. The authorities there have seized over one, over 11,000 Bitcoin miners as the government seeks to reduce the power usage from high power customers, siphoning the energy back to the national uh, grid. The Venezuelan National uh, Power Ministry disclosed an operation to supervise the activities on high power customers connected to the national grid, including uh, the Bitcoin miners. On social media, you can find a video on Twitter, the ministry stated this plan aimed to disconnect all mining farms in the country. Uh, Mr. Rafael La Cava, the governor of the state of Carabobo, where uh, a large part of the industrial complex of the country sites just led a series of actions, let's say raids, on, uh, uh, and that conducted concluded in the seizure of over 11,000 ASICs. And they were, have been disconnected. So uh, the action would focus on reducing the energy destination for these activities as the country faces constant blackouts derived from deficiencies in power generation due to several climate and sanction related issues. Lagafa stated miners couldn't keep their operations while the general population faced continuous energy interruptions. So what is this guy doing? The 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 miners they are paying the mining the, the electricity company for power. So they are contributing to the to let's say the 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 the, the keep up of the infrastructure and keep up of the power. But in other parts of the country where, let's say, the, the, the binding energy company is not able to provide the general population with enough power, uh, they are facing blackouts. So in a political sense, you can understand why he's doing it. He's doing it for political gains and also to get himself some very cheap, confiscate some Bitcoin miners. So... He's getting two, two, two birds for one stone. First, he's making the political, uh, um, uh, let's say, gains on propping up his political party, their political stance with the populace. Like, look, I'm going hard on crypto miners, uh, Bitcoin miners in this instance, and showing political uh, face off with, uh, with his public. So he can assure the people that they're doing something. Uh, second is, this guy... It wouldn't surprise me if they just confiscate all those miners and set them up at, at a different site so he can put these miners to work for him <laughs> or for his political group. 
So it wouldn't surprise me if those miners will be online as soon within a month or two. You just, just look at the hash rate. In my opinion, there hasn't been a drop in hashing rate. So it, it, it's of no significance. So if you look at the hash rates for the past few weeks, there's almost, it's, it's, it has been a little drop. We have toppled over 6,000, 600 extra hash. But we're now at 5, 549, so that's okay. Uh, let's see what's further in this article. Uh, however, authorities did not clarify if these actions were definitive or if these would be applied just to, just as the national electric system is adjusted to produce more energy. So Governor, Governor Lagava declared that many more Bitcoin mining farms will be disconnected and other measures, including national executive order to reduce the energy consumption of state agencies would be announced in a few days. So since, uh, so this, this guy is trying to reorganize his country, the energy consumption and the energy production in a way to, to make sure there are no more blackouts or the amount of blackouts in, in Venezuela will be, be, be lessened. Well, good luck with that because that's an infrastructural problem. I think they would have to produce more energy to make sure there are no more blackouts. That's my opinion. Um, let's say the former president of Suna Crypt, that's like a cryptocurrency group, that's the national cryptocurrency watchdog, has was linked to cor a corruption scheme involving the scale of sanctioned oil for cryptocurrency. Okay, so they've been also using oil to mine Bitcoin and other cryptos. Okay. Also, oh, also the Mr. Jocelyn Ramirez and the former president of the state-owned oil company PDVSA, Tarek El Asaimi, have been arrested and currently under custody for national authorities. Crazy going on in. Uh, so this guy, this article has been written by Mr. Sergio Goshenko, and he is a cryptocurrency journalist in, okay, nice, nice. Okay, um, so what we see is that in Venezuela, uh, they are cracking down on, on, on Bitcoin miners, crypto miners also, and in an attempt to, re to, to make sure there's enough energy for the, the power grid, for the, the regular population, the general population. But the thing that is very wrong with this action from the Venezuelan government is that those crypto miners, in my opinion, they are paying to use the grid. So with the revenue you'll get from paying, those companies paying for the usage of the grid, you can use that money to pop up the grid or even invest in more production. But they don't do that. Politics is not like that. They will try a crazy scheme by showing off like they're closing off those companies, those miners. Then they'll confiscate. I'm very sure these miners will be confiscated and put in usage for their own use. So that's how politics works. So that's it for now. Um, my update on for today. Uh, I hope you, you can... Enjoy this information and I will be back very soon with another update. This is the Setconomist. Like and subscribe this video online. I also will be posting this one on Rumble. So I also have a Rumble channel. So guys, thank you very much. Have a nice day and see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.